Hi guys, today we're going to be decluttering some of my blushes. As you can see, I have quite a few. I also have quite a bit of blush palettes. So this is one of my favorite things in my collection. I really love blushes, so don't expect me to declutter a lot from this category because I don't feel like I'm overwhelmed yet. I feel like I have, you know, a decent amount of blushes, but I also feel like I'm able to use most of them. So yeah, before we get into it, don't even think about asking me if I can send you something that I declutter because that will not happen and it's not okay to ask. So just want to get that out of the way because that is so rude. So, okay, let's get into this. I'm just going to start off from the bottom here. So this is a flower beauty blush that I got not that long ago. I said in the video where I tried this that this is not really a blush, this is more of a blush topper for me. It's also very shiny, so I will definitely not be using this just as a blush, but as a blush topper, I think this is beautiful, so I am going to keep this. And this is my Milani blush in Illuminoso. Um, I don't like this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I've only used it twice, but both times I was just like, I don't get the hype, I really don't understand. I know some people have said that they've changed the formula lately, so maybe that's why I don't like this, and maybe this used to be better, but I'm going to get rid of this because I just, I did not get along with this. This is a blush from BH Cosmetics, and I bought this recently, and I think this is awesome. It's super pigmented though, so if you've been thinking about getting a blush from BH, just keep that in mind because... These uh, are, yeah, they're just super pigmented, so you gotta be very light-handed with this, unless you're maybe of a deeper skin tone, then this would probably be a lot easier to work with, but I think this is beautiful, and this is in the shade Fiji Fun, so definitely going to be keeping this. Next up, I have a blush here from L'Oreal. This is one of their True Match blushes, and I don't like this. This just does not last on my skin at all, and it's very hard to get any kind of pigment out of it. Could just be because it's a bit too light for me, but I thought it would be nice to have a bit of a neutral blush in my collection because I don't have a lot of these and this, this is more of like a peachy blush and I thought it would look nice but it just doesn't really show up that well on me so I will not be keeping this one. This is a new one to my collection. This is the Benefit California blush. I love this. Definitely going to be keeping this. Another one that I also just got is the Golden Rush. I have not used this one yet and this is just so pretty so really excited to actually put this on my face because I think I'm going to really like this. I don't know if this is just an overspray or if it's actually like this the whole way through but the color of this is beautiful so yeah I'm definitely really excited to have this in my collection and now I kind of want to get more of these blushes even though some people have already told me that the formula of the minis is different than the full sizes but I like the formula of the minis so don't really mind that and yeah I'm gonna keep this. This is one of my Juvia's Place blushes. This is the only one. This is the only one that I really felt like goes well on my skin tone. This is like for lighter skin. I find a lot of their blush palettes are more meant for deeper skin people, which makes sense because it's a brand owned by a black woman. So totally makes sense. But I do wish that they made more lighter blushes because I really like this formula. I think this is great. So this is a Serafina blush and I will be keeping this. Here's a blush that I got in a BoxyCharm, I'm pretty sure. This is from Laura Geller. Um, Normally I'm not really a fan of baked blushes, but this one is really pretty and I like this so I don't reach for it as much as I should, but I do like this a lot, so I am going to keep this. This one, however, is also by Laura Geller. I don't remember where I got this. I feel like I got this from a friend of mine, so Melissa, if you gave this to me, let me know because i kind of confused. I don't remember how I got this. I definitely did not buy it. So this is what it looks like. I don't like the color of this. This is not something that I would wear. This is just a little bit too neutral. I don't know. It doesn't really look like a blush. So yeah, this is not something that I will be keeping. I don't really like this. It's also a little bit powdery. I like the other one a lot more because that's kind of shinier. So yeah, I'm not going to keep this. Okay, let's move on to this one. This is one that I picked up at Walmart, I think. And I did not realize that this was going to be a cream blush when I first got it. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like this is just a little bit too dark for me or maybe I just need to give this another chance. I have been wanting to get into cream blushes but I just don't know if I like the color of this. It was pretty expensive though so I feel like I can't really get rid of it without giving it a fair chance so I'm going to hang on to this. This is by Honest Beauty and it's in the shade Truly Teasing. I don't know why I thought this was a powder blush. I really don't. That was a big mistake but like I said I'll keep this. I will give this another chance and then I'll hang on to it until the next declutter, and if I don't like it, I will probably get rid of it next time. So this is a Becca highlighter, but I have it in my blushes because it's too dark for me to use as a highlighter, and this is Rose Gold. It's one of their minis, and I love using this as a blush topper. I think this is beautiful. So yeah, I'll be keeping this around for that purpose, and yeah, I like this. 
This one right here is one of the Maybelline Fit Me blushes. I don't like this. I feel the same way about this one as I did with the L'Oreal one. It just does not last on me and I find that it's just not really that pigmented so I'll be getting rid of this very easily. This is one from the balm that I think I got in, was it a BoxyCharm or was it a Tri Beauty box? But either way, I like this. I think this is super nice. It does look a little bit intimidating in the pan, but it's honestly not that bad when you put it on. It definitely shears up quite a bit and I like the formula of this. They're not kidding when they say it's long wearing because this is definitely long wearing. And yeah, I'm excited about this. I like this blush a lot and I will be keeping it. This right here is one of my Jeffree Star Skin Frost. This is, I mean, supposed to be a highlighter, but look at this. This is obviously not a highlighter, so yeah, I'm not going to use this as a highlighter, but this is a beautiful blush topper, or even a blush on its own, so I use it for that and I like it. Obviously, I'm never going to hit pan on this because this is giant, but I think this is pretty, and yeah, gonna keep it. Here we have a baked blush from Wet n Wild. I don't really understand how this is called a blush because this is so light. I can't see anyone who would wear this as a blush. So yeah, I mean, I don't really know what I will do with this. I feel like I should just get rid of it because I just never reach for it and it's too dark for me to be a highlight and it's also too light to be blush topper. So I don't know, I just, I don't like this. And if something doesn't make me excited, I'm not going to keep it around just for the off chance of me maybe using it one day. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna declutter this. Next one is the only MAC Extra Dimension blush that I have. This is in Sweets for My Sweet. I think this is beautiful. I like the formula on this a lot. I'm not the biggest fan of this shade in particular. Um, I don't really know why even, because this is nice. Um, I'm going to keep it. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this shade, but I do get some use out of it. So yeah, it's not one of those that I'm like, oh my God, I really want to keep this forever and ever because I don't, but I'll keep it for another round, so yeah, I'm not ready to get rid of this yet. This one, however, is also for MAC, and this is in the shade Sweet Enough, and I don't really like this. I wanted to get this because I wanted more of a very neutral kind of blush, but this one doesn't really do a whole lot for me, so I think I'll be giving this away to someone because I feel like someone else might be getting better use out of this than me because I never reach for it. And like I said, I'm not going to keep something in my collection that I'm like, meh, maybe I'll use it one day because I know deep down that with all of these other blushes that I have, this is not going to be the one that I end up reaching for. So I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> this one is funny. This is one from Sigma and this is their bright pink blush. And I'm not kidding when I say that this is bright pink, so you <laughs> have to be very, very light-handed with this, but I have made it work. Um, it does scare me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, like you can see, it's super, super pigmented, but it's really pretty. And I feel like maybe in the summer when I have more of a tan, I will try to reach for this again because when I got this, it was winter and I was pale AF. So yeah, it was a little bit harder to make this work. This is called Sigma Pink Aura Powder. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I think this is cute and this would also make for a good eyeshadow. Not that I know why I bring that up because I will obviously never use this as an eyeshadow because I just don't do that. So I'm gonna keep this. I, I mean, I like it. I think it's cute. Next up, we have one of my Hourglass blushes. Or I shouldn't even say one of because it's the only one that I own. And this is in the shade... I feel like I should remember this by now. Mood Exposure. But this is very unique and I really like this. It's kind of like a mauve kind of neutral leaning. I don't know. It's like a mix between a mauve and a neutral. So I like this a lot and I will definitely keep this around. I love that this, this comes in a mini because this is something that I've traveled with quite a few times because it's just so small and compact. So yeah, I love this. I'm definitely going to keep this. Next up, I have a mini from NARS. I have no idea where I got this or when I got this, but this is in the shade Goo Goo Go go lu go go lu go lu. I really don't know why they would name a blush like that, but this is what it looks like. It's really really pretty. It's got a bit of a sheen to it. It's not completely matte, and I like the color of this a lot. It's one of those things that, with mini items, I feel like they just sort of get lost in my collection because they're so small. So maybe I should start storing my minis like separately or something so that I can actually reach for them because I really like this and. Yeah, I need to get more use out of this because this is really pretty. Next up, I have two of my Sephora collection blushes. These are beautiful. I'm going to keep both of them. This is very much a kind of peachy, orangey shade. And this is just, it's so pretty. It's such a kind of nice, subtle, neutral, but still with a pop of color. And I feel like this goes with so many different looks. And 
it's just a great blush overall. I like the formula of these. They're nice and buildable, but also not super pigmented at first. So you can take your time and build them up to whatever pigmentation you want. And this one is super pretty and super unique too. This is more of a lavender blush and it's called Over the Moon. So for sure going to be keeping both of these. I love these and I will honestly probably get more of these Sephora collection blushes too because I think these are great. This is my Butter Blush from Physicians Formula and it's honestly one of my favorite blushes. I love me a good cool tone light pink blush. I think this is just beautiful. I've used this so many times. I like the size of this. I like that the blushes are smaller than the bronzers. So I'll definitely be keeping this and I feel like I'll be getting a lot of use out of this in the summer because I wear a lot of cool tone eye makeup. Obviously, unless you're new to my channel, you wouldn't know this, but I like wearing a lot of blues and stuff and I find these kind of blushes go really well with blue tone eye looks. So yeah, I like this a lot. This is a blush that we got in BoxyCharm, I want to say last year, and this thing is so pigmented, and I also don't really like the tone of this. This is not the kind of blush that I usually go for, so I will be handing this off to someone else because I just, I never use this, and I really just, I don't like this at all, and I think it's big and bulky, and yeah, I just, I'm not a fan of this, so this is going on. This is also one that I got in my boxy charm, and this is the pretty vulgar blush in what did I what was this called? Make them blush. This looks like the kind of blush that I would like, but for whatever reason, I never ever ever reach for it. And when I do, I'm just very underwhelmed, and I never go, oh, that's pretty. And that's what I want out of a blush. I want to be able to see when I put my blush on and be like, oh, I like that. But if I don't feel anything about the blush, I just it's not really for me. So. I'm going to pass this on to someone else because I think someone might really like this since I don't. So I'm not going to keep it around in my collection just because it's pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this. So for the last single blush that I have, this is from Physicians Formula, and I don't know if this was the limited edition one for like Valentine's Day or something, but this is a happy booster in the shade natural. And I don't really know how I feel about this. I kind of feel the same way about this as the previous blush that I talked about where when I put this on, I just don't really have any feelings about it. And since I don't have any feelings about it, it probably means I just don't like it that much. So yeah, I'm not going to keep it. Let's move on to my blush palettes now. I have quite a few of these. So let's just get these singles out of the way here because I only have two. This is just two of my ColourPop blushes. I'm going to keep both of these because I think these are both beautiful. So... If you want to know what shades these are, this is Parakeet, and then we have, I feel like I just showed you these, but this is Main Chick. So yeah, I really like the formula on these a lot. I think they are great. Here is one of my Morphe blush palettes. This is a trio in the shade Pop of Coral, I think this is. This is beautiful. I love all of these. I really like Morphe's blush formula, as you will see <laughs> very soon, but I'm definitely going to keep these. I think these are amazing blushes. They last for a very long time. They're nice and pigmented without being too pigmented, so yeah, I am a huge fan of these. This, however, is something that I bought when I was home in Norway last time, and I bought this from Kix, which is a Norwegian makeup store. This is a blush palette. I think that the shades in here are absolutely beautiful and I've used this quite a bit actually. But my problem with this is that I feel like it breaks me out because every time I wear these I get little weird bumps and like I said I have such a hard time like knowing what breaks me out when I do break out. I probably didn't say that in this video. I probably said it in my foundation declutter but like I said I just I never know what breaks me out and not so it's hard for me to get rid of stuff and blame it on stuff that I've used even if it's the only thing that I've used differently. It could just be hormonal and whatever. So I don't know. I'm torn on this. I feel like I should just get rid of it, even though I do really like it. But I have so many other blush palettes that have similar tones to this. So you know what? I think I am going to part with this as much as I do like it. It's getting pretty old too, though. It's probably like a year old, which I guess is not that old. But actually, it says 24 months on this. I did not know that you could keep blush for that long. But I guess it kind of makes sense because it's a powder product. But... I don't know, this one is a hard one for me because I do like it. Let me just see what the other Morphe palettes are looking like. If I have dupes in them, I feel like I might. So this is my Morphe 8W palette. This is the warm tone blushes that they have. And looking at these, these are honestly kind of similar. Not that similar though. I don't see any exact dupes. I feel like the cool tone palette might have more dupes. But I am going to keep this because I really, like I said, I really like the Morphe blush formula. So super happy to have this. I don't know what this thing is doing. This needs to go. I don't need this. 
All right, so I'm gonna keep this. And then the next Morphe palette that I have is the 8C one, which is the cool tone version. So let's take a look here. I do feel like there are definitely some similar shades in this. Although these are pretty unique, all of these. <laughs> uh, this is tough. Maybe I should hang on to this for another round because like I said, I do really like these. Maybe what I should do is I should use this for a week straight and then see if I have any kind of reaction to them. And then if I do, I will get rid of it because I, I don't think I'm ready yet. I'm usually like very good at decluttering and I don't have emotional attachment to things. And usually if there is something that I just feel shouldn't be in my collection, I have a very easy time taking it out of my collection, but I'm just not ready to get rid of this. I really thought I was going to when I started filming this, but kind of having talked through this, I think I'm going to keep it because it is a really nice palette. And of course I'll be keeping my Morphe palette because I love this so much. And last up we have my Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush palette. This baby was expensive, but I've been playing with this a lot more lately and the more I play with it, the more I like it. And I've actually been using the cream blush quite a bit lately. And that's not something that I usually use, but I think it's beautiful. Um, I don't really get a lot of use out of the highlighters, but these two right here are so pretty. And yeah, I want to start kind of playing around with the highlighters as well, even though it's one of those things that you're meant to put down the cream first and then put the highlighters on top after, and that's just not really a step that I like to do. But I have noticed that if I do take the time to do that, that the highlighters are just way more intense and look way better on the skin. So yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not getting rid of this. Uh, it's one of those purchases where if I could go back and do that over again, would I buy this? Probably not. But now that I have it, you know, I'm going to give it a fair chance and keep using it because it was expensive and it's also really pretty. And I just, there's something about Natasha Nona's products that just draws me in and I hate to get sucked in by the hype because I haven't like loved, loved, loved anything from her. I've liked everything that I've tried from her, but I haven't loved it. So yeah, sometimes I feel a bit bad about buying her stuff, but there's something about that bougie feeling of using something very expensive and kind of high end that just makes me happy. So I'm gonna keep this. So let's see now how many things that I end up getting rid of. So not that many, I ended up getting rid of 9 of my blushes, now let's see how many I ended up keeping. I'm going to not count the blush palettes because that would kind of skew everything. So we got 9 of them decluttered. of it here it looks like I kept 16 single blushes as well as my highlight or blush palette so that's one two three four five plus two blushes in here so you know I think I did pretty good decluttering nine of them so I'm pretty happy about that you know it's nice to get some more room in my drawer so yeah I think I did pretty good overall I feel like I should probably do bronzers in this video as well because this one hasn't been that long so Maybe I should get my bronzers and we can get those out of the way too because I don't have that many of those. So let me do that. Okay, so these are my bronzers out here. I also have some contour palettes because I didn't know where else to put these. So. Let's just start off with the one that's on top here. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer by, like I said, Wet n Wild. And I don't like this. This is too light for me. I don't really feel like this does anything. So even though I only use it twice, I'm gonna give this away to someone because I am never going to use that. I just know it. This is one that I got from Pretty Vulgar in a boxy charm, I'm pretty sure. And I just, I don't like the formula on this. I find this to be a little bit patchy and I also don't really love the color, even though this looks like it would be a nice color on me, but I don't know what it is about this. I just, I don't like it. So I'm going to get rid of it. My butter bronzer, um, I think it's pretty obvious that I quite like this. So this is not going anywhere. And this is my Too Faced bronzer, which is probably my favorite in my whole collection. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil. I also have the Chocolate, which is just a darker one. And I love both of these. This has been great for me in the winter and this is going to be great in the summer. So I'm definitely going to keep these. This is uh, interesting. So I actually got this sent to me by a subscriber not that long ago and I've been playing with it and I know I'm late to the game and I know it's Kat Von D and I know I should probably not be using Kat Von D but 
I like this and I'm going to keep it and you know what, it's in my collection, I'm not going to not use it, so that's pretty much the end of that, so I'm going to keep this and I, like I said, I honestly really like it and I wish I didn't, but what can you do, so I'll be keeping this. This is a contour palette that we got from BoxyCharm and I honestly have not really used this at all so the bronzers are just too dark for me or even the contour, I don't like this. I don't like the shade of the highlighters except for this one so I'm gonna give this away to someone because I, I never reach for this. It does smell really good though, it smells like chocolate but like I said I never use it so there's no reason for me to keep this around. And this is a Morphe, what is this even called? A Brontor? Is that what they call this? Let's see. Yeah, it's a Brontor in the shade Celebritant. I've tried to make this work so many times and I just, I don't really like the shade of this on me. I don't know. So many people love this though, so I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Uh, but I, like I said, I just, I don't like this. So I'm not going to keep it around just to keep trying it. And maybe it's the fact that it's got like a shimmery version and then a matte version and then I just I don't know. I don't like this. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep it around. This is a bronzer that I've had for a very long time. It's probably one of the first bronzers that I ever bought which is kind of crazy because it's from Guerlain and this I think I bought at a duty free at an airport or something like that and I asked the people there like what is your best bronzer and of course they showed me this and yeah, I didn't look at the price before I bought it and I probably should have done this and I don't love this bronzer that much. I've been using it lately but it's a little bit too light for me right now actually and it's also a bit warmer than I like my bronzers to be so it's one of those things that if I wear this in the winter when I'm at my palest this bronzer is just a bit warm for me but if I wear it in the summer it doesn't really show up on me that well so I'm a little bit torn but I do like this and like I said I spent a lot of money on this and I know I shouldn't keep things just because it's expensive but I'm gonna keep this around for a bit longer and I'm gonna try to get more use out of this because it's a really really pretty bronzer and I also just like the packaging a lot and I'm not really one to say I like the packaging on things but I'm going to keep this. This is also one of the palettes that I got at the same trip that I got the blush palette by Kix and this is their contour kit. I don't know how I feel about this. I like the contour shade. I like this this shade right here a lot. This one is nice too. I just don't really feel like they're good bronzer shades for me. I don't, I don't know. I reach for this sometimes, but I feel like it's time to let this go because I've found better contour palettes that I like more lately. So I think it's time to part with this, even though I really like the formula on these palettes. See, now I'm getting into the same kind of thing where I was talking about the blush palette that I got and I was like, I don't know if I'm ready. So my camera shut off, but I said I'm going to keep this because I do really like this and I just, I'm not ready to part with it. So it's going to be staying in my collection for a little bit longer. So this one right here is the Tarte Tardis Pro Glow to Go and this is a bronzer and highlighting palette. I haven't really tried this yet and I also was sent this by a subscriber, but this is the kind of thing that I just never reach for because it's just too small. Like I would never use a bronzer that's this small. I guess you could use this to contour, but I don't really think that shade would look very good for me to contour. And I also know that I will never reach for a palette like this to use just a highlighter because I just, I always just forget. So I'm going to give this to someone else and see if someone else can get more use out of this because I don't want to keep this in my collection if I know I'm not going to use it. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to find a better home for this. This palette right here we got in BoxyCharm, I want to say last month. I haven't used this a whole lot, but this is beautiful. This is from Cover FX. I really like both of the contour and the blush in here, and this highlighter is beautiful. This highlighter actually works really nice on me as well, even though it kind of looks like it's going to be too dark in a pan, but if I mix these two together, oh, it's just like it's beautiful. So I'm definitely going to keep this, and I also like the finishing powders a lot from Cover FX. So really happy we got this in BoxyCharm actually because this is not something that I thought they would ever put in the box because I didn't think they used Cover FX products in there but yeah I love this I'm definitely going to keep this. This is a bronzer from MAC that I think I'm going to get rid of. I don't know. I'm torn because I kind of like this but on the other hand it's also just a little bit light for me I feel like it doesn't have a lot of pigmentation and it takes so long to build up and I just don't have that patience with bronzers. I like my bronzers to be more on the pigmented side, so I think I'm going to give this to someone else who might get more use out of it. Because it's, it's a nice bronzer. It just It's just annoying to work with, and it takes too long to put on, and I need to put on too many layers. So 
I'm gonna get rid of this because I feel like someone else might be able to use this more than me. Here's a bronze booster palette by Physicians Formula. I know I've talked about this in videos recently and I really like this. I just hate the packaging. It's just so dang bulky, like, really? I mean, I'm gonna keep this because I like the products in here. I like all of these powders. I don't really use this one. Well, what am I supposed to use this for? I never understand these kind of powders. Is this supposed to be an under eye setting powder? Someone please explain this to me because I just, I never use this. I usually just take my loose setting powder and use that all over under my eyes and my face. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what to use this for. But these two are beautiful. I really like these, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm also going to keep my Hula Bronzer by Benefit, which was also sent to me by a lovely subscriber. And she was so sweet. She sent me the biggest package and I'm just so grateful. So. I've been wanting to try the Hula Bronzer for so long, and this is just perfect for me. I've been using this so much lately. This reminds me a lot of the uh, Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, like the regular Butter Bronzer. I guess this is a deep one. <laughs> can't believe they call this deep. That is a disgrace. But these two remind me a lot of each other, and I love both of them. So I will for sure be keeping both of these. Uh, this is a bronzer that I got from Davina when I ordered some of the single shadows, if I can open this, this is what it looks like. I don't like this formula at all, honestly. It's just way too powdery. It's patchy, it's hard to blend out. The color is just a little bit off for me. I don't like the undertone of this, so I'm gonna give this away. It's, I mean, it's pretty much new. It's in the shade Havila. It hurts me to give away things or get rid of things from indie brands because I just, I want their products to be good so bad, but when they're not, you know, I'm not gonna keep it around, just keep it around, so. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, this is my Sorme Contour Kit, and I will definitely be keeping this. I really like this. I think all of these shadows are beautiful. I don't love the highlight. I can make it work, but it's not as intense as I like for my highlights to be. It's so funny how I feel like every time I talk about highlighters, I'm like, I don't like super intense highlighters, but then when I find a highlighter that's not very intense, I'm like, that's not intense enough. So clearly I just can't win, but I like this palette. I actually love that contour shade so much. That is probably the best contour shade that I've ever found for my skin tone. So I'm gonna keep this. The bronzer is beautiful too. Again, I don't really know what to do with this powder. So if someone would like to help me, <laughs> I would really appreciate that because I never use those kind of powders. I just, I don't know. It just seems like kind of a waste of time to me because I don't like doing more steps than I have to. So yeah, I guess that is going to be the end of the bronze declutter. Let's see how we did now. So let me see how many of these I end up keeping. So we have 12 items here, now counting all of the palettes, so, you know, I don't really know how to count these, but I'm just going to call this 12. So I kept 12, now let's see how many I ended up getting rid of. Alright, so I kept 12 and got rid of 6, I think that's pretty good, you know, it's like a third of my collection, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. Let me know what you think of the bronzers that I got rid of. I know a lot of people really like some of these things, so, you know, sorry if you like them and I don't, that's just part of the game. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my blush and bronzer declutter. I guess next up is going to be highlighters. So I hope you're excited for that because I'm excited to swatch out some highlighters and I have a feeling I will not be getting rid of a lot. So sorry in advance, but it'll still be fun to see my collection, I hope so. Thank you so much for watching this video as always. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye.